Hi friends, welcome to Tabletop Tonight. I'm Ruel. And I'm Michelle. And tonight on the Tabletop, we've got Charcuterie, the board game. Let's get to it. And here is the game. We've got it all set up and ready to go. What we're doing in Charcuterie is building boards. Uh, charcuterie boards full of snacks and uh, goodness and Boy, we love charcuterie, uh, the actual ones. Uh, if you saw our live stream, we're recording this live on Twitch, folks. For you on YouTube, we actually built some charcuterie boards. Um, Michelle showed us how to make a meat rose, and that was super fancy, babe. High five for that. Did a great job. Uh, but we're going to play um, a game now, and what we're doing is it's a game of set collection. You're building different sets of things on your charcuterie board. Michelle and I each have a secret recipe. We'll talk about that in a second. And then there are different things that you're going to score. So what first we're going to do is you look here on the actual charcuterie board. Uh, this is double-sided. And on the other side, at the end of the game, you're going to use this to score. Uh, but for, for the time being, we're playing a two-player game. And we've got four stacks of three food tiles each. So what we do is I will go first here. I'll grab one, two, what is it? Three, three, one, two, three. And we're going to do four stacks. One, two, three. Whoops, part of the bag just fell out there. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. Is this three or four? That three. is three. And then one more. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. And if you hear some uh, strange noises in the background, like barking and snorting, those are our pugs, Meeple and Mookie. Uh, they're hanging out with us tonight. And there is Meeple barking. Hey, Maple. Come here, baby. And what we're doing tonight is building our boards, and we're going to uh, draft, basically. So since I laid out, I am the host. Um, I'm hosting the little charcuterie party. Um, Michelle will go first. She'll take one stack. Then I will take a stack. And then she'll take a stack, and I'll take a stack. And that's our pug, Meeple. He's also banging against the uh, camera here. Um, <coughs> as the host, you can set those stacks up however you want. Oh, okay. So there is, um, we is, again, we're doing this live on... Um, uh, Twitch folks and our uh, sponsor is in chat and this is a great thing about doing this live uh, they can uh, you can as host you can set up those stacks however you want so a little strategy and how you set them up cool good to know and that's our pug Amipo saying listen to me I'm hungry come here Amipo and so I'll continue here I've set these up here and what you're going to do is Try to score them according to what's on the board here. Uh, these are, there are random cards. We're doing a mix of the base and gourmet. Gourmet is a little more advanced. So what you have, six different types of things you can put on your board. You have breads, you have cheeses, you have dips, you have meats, you have veggies and fruits. Now, I, I love this little touch in the game where uh, the rule book, it says uh, that tomatoes are in this particular game they're used as veggies but they are technically a fruit uh so in the game they're used as veggies so what you can do is score these differently so as you place these on the board at the very end of the game after a couple of rounds you're going to score this depending on what they have here so in this case for each group of only a bread a cheese and a fruit you'll get 10 points for each group for the cheeses for each matching cheese in a group of cheese you get points based on um how many you have so if you have four or more you're going to get 12 we have one, 1 1.2, 4, and so forth. Uh, for the dips, for each unique dip on your board, you're going to get points based on how many. So if you have one dip, it's minus three. But if you get four or more different dips, you get 15 points. Uh, moving on to meats, uh, for each adjacent pair of a meat and a cheese, three points. Okay. And for the veggies, for each adjacent pair of a veggie and a cheese, four points. And finally, for the fruits, this one is for each unique fruit in a group of fruits you'll score points so one to six or more and one to 20 points so again this is a similar to the cheeses but uh the cheese is uh matching whereas the fruits are unique and again these were randomly chosen before we set up tonight uh there are several more in the box um that you can play with so michelle will go first but she's taking for our pug uh, meeple right now so what we're gonna do is i've set these up here and um oh you know what i since she's not here i'll show you my recipe card you get dealt two of these before the game and you're going to choose one mine is the vegetarian so this is just for me I, at the end of the game i reveal this the fewer meats i collect the more points i will score so if i have zero to two different types of meat or zero to meats i get 15 points so i'm definitely going to go for that 
So Michelle, she has hers. I have no idea what she has. Um, that's secret until the end of the game. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, okay. Go ahead and take a look at that. I've already showed the audience uh, mine. But uh, since I'm the host, you may go first, um, Michelle, by taking one stack. And then uh, let me take a look at my recipe card so I know what I want. Okay. okay. And um, then you have these here to score, and you will pick the first stack. Okay. Okay. How oh, good. <laughs> uh, I, I was hoping take, that was... Take this one. Okay. And then you take a second stack. Um, and then the next, oh, okay. And then this next phase we can do simultaneously. So what are you going to do? On one side it tells you what type. So this is uh, meat. And then this is a meat rose, which Michelle showed us how to make. <laughs> Don't uh, eat it. <laughs> this is a sauce. And then the type of sauce is here. This is hummus. So again, prototype. Um, this is an early rule book. Uh, these are different cheeses, veggies, fruits, dips, breads, and meats. Uh, so this I know is a hummus. Okay, I need to look at her objectives here. Yeah. So I went over those. Um, let's go over those again. For each group of only bread, cheese, and um, fruit, 10 points. For each matching cheese in a group of cheeses, 1 to 4 gets you points. For each unique dip, you get 1 to 4 get different points. If you only have 1, it's minus 3. Uh, for each adjacent uh, pair of br uh, meat and cheese, 3 points. For each adjacent pair of uh, veggie and cheese, four points. And finally, for each unique fruit in a group of fruits, you get one to six for one to 20 points. Now, the okay. big thing, folks, is when you play some of your uh, boards, to score at the end of the game, each thing that you place must touch the charcuterie board. So this would not score. It has to touch this. And if you're trying to do uh, you know, adjacent pairs, you want them touching each other, but you're going to run out of room real quick. So you want at least uh, to put them, like, stack them. And the rule is you must see at least half of the item. So here is a bread and here is a meat. So I have a bread and meat here. That would score at the end of the game. But I don't know if that actual pair does that. So what I'm going to do, here, let me show you all the stuff I have first. So I've got, um, what are these, carrots? Yep, a couple of carrots. I have, um, this is a fig jam. And this is hummus. So I've got two different... Um, uh, dips right now. So this would score me three points. Now, again, this is just the first round, folks. We're doing this a couple of rounds here. So each of us has to uh, be host twice. And then um, as you go, as the game progresses, you can start moving things around. So it's not like you put these down and they're forever. No. Because like any good charcuterie board, you're going to have to rearrange stuff. So what I'm going to do to save room, I'm going to keep these here. Now, also... If one of your items goes off the charcuterie board, that does not score. they got to be on there. You, you want a neat charcuterie board, folks. You don't want the stuff falling off. You never know what's going to happen. So in the six-player game, this plays up to six, you're going to have to stay in the inner ring. But for a two-player, you can go to the outer ring. So I've got two dips. So I would score three points right now. Uh, veggies. So I want a pair of veggie with a... Is this a meat? Uh, a cheese. A uh, cheese. So I don't have any cheeses yet. Uh, so a bread, a fruit. I have no fruits either. So I'm going to put these here. Again, I, you can rearrange as the game progresses. Okay. Okay, so when we played this, I thought these were nuts. Uh, oh, but what are those? Was, these are dates. Oh, dates. They were, because I it was on the table like this, and I was like, nuts are not a fruit? Mm -hmm. But then on there, <laughs> they're dates. So I don't, I don't eat dates. So. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> Okay, so my fruit can be paired with that. Well, I have that, my cheese and my, my yeah. strawberries there. Yeah, so Michelle has a nice a blue cheese there. up there with strawberries. Okay. Okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. it would score me here. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, okay. let's see what happens. All right, so... Um, Three tiles in a stack and four stacks, please. Okay. And you just go in the bag and rinse and repeat. And once you're... So Michelle's hosting now, so I'll go first. And then I will go um, uh, again as a host. And then Michelle will go again as a host. Oops. And then we score. You got to splay it out like a real charcuterie board. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Delish. I feel like... Like, can you do that? I'm like, I'm feeling the shapes, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> oh, because there were like three that were the same shape, and I'm like, you don't want that, right? So, uh, just a reminder, remember, Michelle, you can set those piles up however you choose. 
Ooh. All right. <laughs> So again, we're right recording this live on Twitch uh, for friends on YouTube. So um, we have one of the developers in the chat right now. So as you bring these out, you can set these up however you'd like. Is that correct? Um, so Michelle could swap, uh, maybe put this oh. meat over here, this um, tomato over here. Okay, so I thought you meant just like I could, you know, like put these in any order. Oh, okay. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Can you uh, verify? Yeah, let's verify while we're doing that. Okay. So this stack of three, would you have to do Base it? up and decide how you want them. Yep. Okay. okay. Base up and decide. Okay. So there so you go. So just each pile, right? Like I can't say, oh, I want this cheese and this, um, this? Tomato? tomato. This tomato and. Oh, yeah. Can you meat? swap between uh, piles, basically? Meant? Maybe make a stack you know Ruel wants so he stays away from a stack that you want. Oh, okay. So you can mix the stacks up the way you want. Okay. 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 Yeah. So one, two, Love three, it. One, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to put them all out first and then. Yep. I love it. I will. Yeah. Hopefully get the things that I want. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So again, if you're watching this on YouTube, folks, we uh, did actual charcuterie boards uh, before this. So we're, we're nice and full. We had our snacks, but now we don't play this. Oh, this is cool. So Michelle's got some bread. She's got some, uh, I see a cheese. She's putting stuff together. Um. She knows that I have two dips already. And then, of course, she has her secret recipe that she may want to go to. And I'm looking at mine again just to remember what I have. Hold up here. Yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> oh, I see the fig jam. Okay. And that um... fig jam does me no good because it's uh, the score is for unique um, dips. So... That would help me, and it doesn't really help me because I have two dips. That's not a unique one. So, Michelle's done a good job of tricking me over there. Let me put my recipe card right here. <coughs> See some strawberries. Okay, so I don't have any fruit on my board, and y'all know I love to have a balance of uh, different things on my board. So that one is unique fruits uh, in groups of fruits will score points. I have one little lonely bread out here. I'm gonna have to uh, try to get that together with a um uh what is it here meat and a fruit or a cheese and a fruit okay so michelle set it up here i see some veg okay uh so i need i need cheese there's no cheese here um hmm. i see i know those are dips and these are meats here what is this here okay so i'll <laughs> Uh, I forgot I'm, what your objective is anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't show you. I'm going to go, oh, okay, I'm taking these three, Michelle. I would like these. Okay, and I'll take these. Okay. So, I got a bunch of meat, but I also got a third dip, so that's going to give me nine points. So, again, I want it to touch the charcuterie board, and I don't want to cover up more than half. Now, here's the problem. Again, you can rearrange as you go. Um, oh, okay. And then uh, just as, to verify, uh, none of this stuff is secret. You could totally look through the little stacks as well. Okay. So just a reminder, it's from uh, our friends at 3WS Games, our sponsor, just to verify that. Thank you so much for that. I've got uh, one group or here's my group of fruits. So I got one point right now. So what else can I do? A veggie and a cheese. I have no cheese. I need cheeses, folks. So let me Jesus. put Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, folks. <laughs> let me put my dips up there. I've got a couple of meats. So the meats, each pair of meat. See, I need cheeses. I, oh, man. These meats do me no good without cheese. I've got uh, veggie. Yeah, I need veggie. I, I need cheese is like the big thing I need. Okay, bread, veg, or fruit. Okay. So my board is not looking that great right now. Uh, Michelle's, oh, that um, piece here. Um, can you turn those over so oh, you can see? Yeah, kidding. that's what they are. Oh, okay. And that one, that meat right there. Oh. Oh, a little, uh, is that the capicola? What is that? Or is that the sopa de salsa? Yeah. Salami and then the meat rose. I love that they have the meat rose in here. Okay, so this is uh, the next round. Um, this is my final turn to be the host, so I'm going to get 
Um, one, we want cheese. two, three. There's a cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna go deep in the bag here. And twelve. Wait, baby oh. cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? I'm gonna got a dip, veg, cheese. Okay, lots of veggies. Um, so let me do these here. So I want. So are the veggies? The veggies need to be paired with the cheese. Yeah. Wow, there's only one cheese, and you're going first. So. Oh. What yeah. About that? No bueno. Um, this, 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 and then this, this, this. Oh, did I? Okay, I did one too many. Okay, so we'll just toss this back in the bag. So, yeah, checking my secret recipes. Okay. All right. So, again, as we verified, you can look through each stack. Um, actually, what do I want to do? I don't want to do this, this. Okay. No, we're good. Feel free to look at the stacks and take the one you would like. Okay. I want this one. The one with the cheese, of course. Because <laughs> <laughs> my meats need some cheese. Um, I'm going to take this one that I want. Now, what is, what is this one? This is a dip. Okay. Is that the tampanade? Yeah, olive tapenade. Uh, I will take um, yeah. Ooh. this one here. Okay. And then you take one more stack and I take a stack. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I got my cheese. I got oh, cheese. She's good. <laughs> okay. Um... And you may look through them. There's a mater. There's. Do I need. Oh, there's another tapenade. I'm not going to score anything on that. Um. Vegetables. I still need cheese, though. Yeah, though you got the one cheese this yeah, round. Yeah, got that. Um, and a tomato. And uh, I really don't need any of this. Let's see. That is ranch, ranch dressing. Yeah, I really, I don't need any of these. So I, yeah, I'm just gonna take them. Okay. I guess. So I'll take these. Um, so I get my fourth uh, unique um, dip, which is great. I'm going to make sure half of it's showing. It's on the board. So that's going to be 15 points. So I'm going to score a bunch there. Now these, unfortunately, not going to help. So I'm just going to put this here. Uh, fruits. I want unique fruits. So this uh, dates are a fruit. And unfortunately, tomatoes count as veggies in this game. So... Oh, lots of veg, but I know um, these veggies are killing me. I do not have anything for uh, that thing here. Okay. Oh, uh, Michelle's the host, the hostess with the mostest. Uh, this is it. Cheese. Going for the cheese. Hopefully, we get some cheese out there. So I need. I got a bunch of stuff. So it's not going to score. Unfortunately. Two, three. Oh, four. Four. Five. Six. Oh, look Those at that one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. More sauces. More cheese. More cheese. cheese. More cheese. 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 Okay, there's not a cheese. Okay. <laughs> cheese. Please, cheese. Please, cheese. I got cheese. Okay. okay. So you get the range the way you would like. And so this is the final round of the game, folks. Uh, as your host tw um, twice. Uh, it doesn't change it for player count, I believe. And then we're going to do final scoring. And that's where we're going to score each of these. And then we will reveal our recipe cards and score that as well. As you saw on the other side of this board, that's the scoring. And I have little scoring tokens over here that I'll pull out just to make, get, get us ready here. Um... Remember, I select first. You're the host and the, yeah. So yeah, spread that cheese. cheese out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, let's do this. Two, three. Okay. It's like cheese and dip kind of meat. Okay. Veggies. Okay, Michelle has done three. Let's see. So I just need any one cheese. So is this? No, that's the bread. 
and that's the cheese there. This is a cheese. Um, is this, what do I need here? This is meat, meat, is this a cheese? I will take this one here because it has a unique fruit. I need more fruit on my board and I finally got a cheese. Then it's to Michelle. Okay. Um, I think this is what I want right here. Okay. And I do want another cheese, so that's that. Okay. Michelle gets that. Okay, so again, Time to rearrange our um, board. Oh, okay. And just a reminder, one time as a host in five or six player games, so it doesn't take too long. But you do start with six random tiles in a five or six player game as well. Okay, yeah. And that makes sense, so it doesn't drag too long. Uh, in the two player game, though, we are taking two stacks rather than just one. Okay, so I'm going to rearrange my board. Um, I want... I have my dips here. I have all four dips, right? Is there an equal amount of each um, type of item? Uh, there are. So you, um, you have one, two, three, four, five, six different oh, cheeses. Oh, so no. <laughs> yeah. And then okay. the numbers are, I believe, here. Uh, yeah. So there are six round crackers, six square crackers, and different numbers based on what they are. Okay. Okay, so I actually have two sets here, but um, I just score for unique. Now let me get my fruits. Strawberries. Okay, these are veggies. I got my cheeses. Okay, I got three meats. So five and two. <coughs> Meat and cheese. Do I have another fruit? I do not have another fruit. Ah, okay. For each matching cheese in a group of cheese okay oh none of my cheeses match so meat and... okay um so now i need veg for each unique fruit and this is not a fruit so this is a vegetable and cheese for four points or i could do the meat and cheese for three Oh. Oh. Okay. Sorry. This doesn't do any. This doesn't do me any good here. Sorry, salami. Okay, that's gonna go there. Okay. Oh, fruits. We need more cheese. Okay. Well, you know these aren't gonna score me anyway. Yeah, this is definitely the fun part of the game, folks, where <laughs> all tiles must touch the board and be more no more than fifty percent hidden. So. All of them, even if you know you're not going to score? That's a good question. So if you know you're not going to score anything, can you just pile them up? Because I am at that point where I... Yeah, that's where I'm at right now, because I got a lot of meat. So I, I needed more cheese. Same. So I'm going to do this here. Okay. So if I can do bread, cheese... Yep, all of them have to touch. All of them have to touch. Okay. Okay. I'll be rearranging some things then. Yep. And that's what makes the puzzle harder. So I'm going to put this meat rose right here. Strawberry. Okay, that's touching. Yay. Okay, now just make sure I can okay, see. Here's my ranch dip with the carrots. And make sure they're on the board. If they're off the board, they do not score. Oh. It will not count. So I've got to move some of this in. Ooh. You are moving over this way, so I can move this one here. Ah! There's a lot of moving parts here. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so I did... Come on, get on the board. Bread, cheese. Bread, cheese, and fruit. Bread, cheese, and fruit. This, this one hurts. I could have um, had more points. Than those. Meat and cheese. Okay, I got one of those. And make sure you got to be able to see at least 50% of each item for it to score. Well, like, I, I know, like, these four meats are not going to score, so yeah. does it matter? As long as they're touching the board, you're good. Okay. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like they're all touching the board. Very nice. Okay, and then I have a vegetable and a cheese. And then I got some fruit. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's, here's our final charcuterie boards. Very nice, Michelle. Now, uh, that's the end of the game. Now we turn this over. For the score track. 
and we each have a little token here. I'll be the little dip, 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 dip. <laughs> and Michelle will be the meat. And then we're going to score each one. So why don't we start with the bread. For each group of only one bread, one cheese, and one fruit. Which I totally messed up. Oh, man. Oh, really? I only had one bread, though. So oh, I, on your whole on my whole board, board. Oh, so I had wow. a bread, a fruit, and I I forgot to put it next to the cheese. Darn it! Okay, so I'm scoring nothing for this. What about you? <laughs> okay, so I've got a cheese, fruit, and a bread. Okay, so that's ten for Michelle. Oh my gosh! A cheese, fruit, and a bread. Twenty points for Michelle. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we'll turn that one over. So you don't want to look at it anymore. I don't want to look at it. No, that's it. Okay. Uh, for, now let's go to cheese. For each matching cheese in a group of cheeses. So I didn't, again, the cheeses is just random folks. It didn't help uh, Didn't help me out. I could not get a group of cheese and they weren't matching anyway. So I got zero. Yeah, same. I didn't have any matching cheese, so okay. I didn't even so bother with that one. Our boards were not that great with cheese. Now, I did get this each unique dip. So I've got one, two, I got four dips for 15 points. Okay, so I have one, two, three... Four. Ooh, Michelle also has four for 15, so up to 35. Crushing it. Well done. Uh, <laughs> for each adjacent pair of meat and cheese, three points. So I've got uh, meat and cheese, meat and cheese, six points. Okay, so I have one meat and cheese combo. Okay. So, uh, That's my points. Lunchables. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, let's turn that over. Uh, final, as you can, again, one, I just want oh, to point out. Wasn't that one? This uh, is this one, you're right. Just want to point out that this was a mix of the base uh, scoring and also the more advanced um, gourmet scoring. Okay, now we're going to score veggies for each adjacent pair of veggie and cheese. So I've got veggie and cheese. Oh, wait, did I mess that up? No, veggie and cheese. One here, uh, veggie and cheese here for four, eight points for me. So 29. Okay, so I have one veggie and cheese pair for, for four. four points. Okay. Let me make sure I didn't mess this one up here. This was this the was meat the and cheese. Meat and cheese. Okay, no, I'm good. So the way I did it was I have a meat and cheese, and then I have a veggie and cheese there. Oh, I thought you couldn't count it like that. Yeah, it says. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe you can't. So the pairs. So there's different ways to score the pair uh, things here. So um, a pair is I a cracker. A pair is exact. Oh, you're right. Oh my gosh. So I can I do that? It says it's uh it, this. Let's get a ruling here live here on Twitch uh, for you watch on YouTube. A pair is a set of exactly two uh tiles. Each food tile only counts once per score objective. For food tiles to be considered a pair, they do not have to touch, nor do they need to be in a group. They can be oh they can be located anywhere. So I have a pair. I have um it could be anywhere on the board as long as you um pair. Oh well. Yeah. So. Okay, I Woo. didn't play with that in mind. Yeah, so. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, uh, I hope I scored something correctly. <laughs> okay, final one. A group of fruit and unique fruits in each one. So I only had three unique fruits because I had double, uh, I doubled up on strawberries. So three unique fruits is six points for me. 35. So does this not count as one then? Because I have two sets of dates. Uh, yeah, you just it's you just count with a one date. It's a oh, unique, okay. So yeah. then I have strawberries, dates, and grapes. Okay, so and three. That is all. Six points. Okay, forty eight. Okay, so we've scored our boards. Now we go to our okay. Let's just uh, verify you choose your cheese can score for the meat, and the same cheese can be scored for the veggie. Got it. Uh, now we're gonna reveal our recipes, and this is what hurt me. I was the vegetarian. I wanted as few meats as possible. Oh. I had one, two, three, four meats, but thankfully it's, it still got me in the 10 point okay. range. So 10 points for me goes to 45, but it's not going to be enough. What was yours? Um, collect strong cheese to score more points. Okay. So I do have one blue cheese. Okay. One blue um, cheese. I don't have Swiss, and I have one Parmesan right there. Okay. So that's six points. Six points. So there it is. You have scored 54, and I've scored 45, and that's the game. A GG, Michelle. GG. Folks, thank you so much for watching our run-through of Charcuterie, the board game. Check the description below for a link to the Kickstarter, and I want to thank 3WS Games for sponsoring tonight's video. Until next time, we'll see you here at Tabletop Tonight. Bye, everybody. Bye.